Hello, hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming, pleasure to speak to you. Um, if you can kick off with an intro, what can people expect from The Lazarus Project Season 2? Um, so what, we can we, uh, what, can we, what can we expect? Um, I would say it's going to be even more mind-boggling than the first season, if that's even possible. You know, time travel is really complicated, but really fascinating. And I think Season 3, Season 2 even, is just going to be even more fascinating and complex and detailed and 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 it's going to draw audiences in you know you're going to i think audiences are just going to be like transfixed by it so yeah and where do we find your character in particular and how, how, what do you like about playing him i love shiv i love playing shiv because he's so um i think that there's so much going on in his eyes like when i spoke to the director in there marco in the first season and we had a really detailed we had really detailed character chats and we established very early on that there's a lot of trauma with with Shiv's character and that trauma was partly sort of talked about and discussed and that some of that trauma is obviously as a as an actor I have to fabricate some of that some of that trauma as well and fabricate some of those stories and those events and and I think in season two it's wonderful because I, I, I get to explore those avenues much much more um, and go and go much deeper with the character I'm saying about Joe Barton he's got a real gift I think for creating these shows that you know are very gripping they also have a sense of fun uh, look very stylish uh, what do you like about working with him yeah, look, I mean, look, I'm a real sci-fi nut anyway. I love sci I watched Interstellar a couple of nights ago for like the third or fourth time, and I still don't get it. But it's brilliant, isn't it? I mean, it's such a brilliant premise. I mean, the idea of Matthew McConaughey or, or anyone just like traveling through, he travels through a black hole. We've got black holes in our show. Joe's brilliant because it's like, it's, it's mind. You're working with his mind. And um, I think anyone that can concoct a story that, that is that magnetic and that mind-bending is kind of genius, really. And what is it like being on set? Because obviously there's, you know, some pretty very high production values, some pretty snazzy CGI that happens in places. There's also a lot about the relationships and there's witty lines and, and dialogue between you all. What were the highlights of, of being on set and maybe some of the challenging moments? I'm quite sort of like, because Shiv is quite isolated from everyone else, there's something quite reserved about him. Subconsciously, I sort of became quite solitary on set. However, I think it was the World Cup. I think the World Cup was on at the same time we were shooting it. So it's really funny because actually, like in between scenes, and in, not in between takes, but in between scenes, if we were waiting for a scene, Sam Troughton and I, and Papa, We'd all sort of crowd into one room and watch the football, and then you could just hear like, "Yeah, it's like who's good, who's good, who's good." So that that was lovely to have that going on at the same time as something that is really quite intense, so intense as the Lazarus Project. To have that break, and even Shiv, even Shiv could actually enjoy that. You know. And it is such an amazing cast, you know, to talk a bit about, you know, what it's like working with them, but in particular Papa, I mean, he's had such a meteoric rise yeah, right. in his career and he's and, and just so amazing in this role. What's special about him, do you think? Yeah, look, I, I think he's extraordinary, actually. I think everyone in the cast is extraordinary. I think, I think it's been really well cast and I think not just talent, I don't think it's just talent, but I think, um, I think everyone in the show is is they're, they're all beautiful souls we're all be you know they're all lovely lovely people very kind very generous and and papa's amazing yeah he leads the show really well yeah. and finally you know what do you think people can take away from watching it, it does feel like the sci-fi genre particularly the time travel people have such an appetite for these stories and perhaps there's something about the modern condition about the idea that we could control um, or go back and change our past that that people like to fantasize about but of course it throws up so many moral questions too yeah, that's right. I mean, I think I think forever. I think people have always been fascinated with the stars, haven't they? I mean, I've certainly. I remember watching. I remember watching like Quantum Leap, you know, as a kid, and and you know, and watching Back to the Future and and and, and Contact and, um, and and all these incredible films. And you know, I think everyone. I don't. I don't know anyone that isn't fascinated with the universe and the stars. And 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 I, I think that's why this this show is so um, so fascinating. Why it appeals to so many people. Yeah. Fantastic. Thanks so much for your time. Really enjoy the night. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Cheers.